like the if you admire this person I feel like for others of you this person is very distant okay so normally with fire signs you know they're very like wear their hearts on their sleeves and just very friendly outgoing I feel like they are all of these things but when it comes to personal relationships they're very like hands-off they're very like um, you know they, they do, they're very good about demarcating boundaries so especially if this is somebody in the professional environment I feel like you're gonna feel a little bit smitten by this person there's this sense almost like your soul recognizes the other person from a previous life that's what I'm feeling with this karma card and it basically indicates to me that as well that um, you might be somewhat financially linked up with another like a fire sign either via children expenses um, joint assets and things like that and it's basically saying that there is a karmic link there are cores of attachment um, as it relates to this person and I do feel that for good or bad you are gonna have to decide what you need to do and I feel like this might be somebody um, that you've had a long history with and you're trying to you know they might hit some rough times a rough patch in their lives and they might come in and need assistance from you but the nature of this person is that they're very very proud so I feel like you're going to have to read between the, the lines and um, you're gonna have to like let your walls down okay so that they can approach you if they need help or something like that I feel like they're really proud and they're gonna skirt you know beat around the bush and it's really important for you to be a little bit more emotionally sensitive and delicate when dealing with this person for this month okay in terms of your communication, we do have the Princess of Swords as well as the Four of Wands. Um, the Four of Wands indicates a new house move, a new house environment, and a, um, a very, very harmonious state of living, okay? So for a lot of you, you might simply have a lot of communications when it comes to people that you are living with within your household. This can be, you know, family members in the house environment that you grew up in, or a lot of, um, I feel like, people that you are currently living with right now as roommates as like housemates or even a new situation that you're dealing with what I'm feeling is there is an air sign here in Aquarius a Gemini and a Libra and this could be your energy as well that is being brought into the the fold okay so you might be seeing somebody you might bring them into the fold you might be moving in to live with them as roommates as strictly platonic roommates what I'm also feeling is there's a lot of discussions about marriage there's a lot of discussions a lot uh, about engagement taking relationships to the next level wanting to create more of a commitment and I feel like for a lot of you you are definitely not at the point where you're ready and you're committed so if you are in a uh, relationship with another person and they're you know wanting to take things to the next level and they're telling you how do you feel about marriage and motherhood fatherhood having children and you know growing old together I feel like a lot of you are at this at a point where you're very very much career oriented and very you know uh, ambitious when it comes to accumulating a lot of wealth for yourself that you might not feel like you're ready so you might not you might feel like um, anxious about having this conversation with another person because you feel that you're just not ready and you feel that there's a lot of things that's going to restrict your movement and your freedom when it comes to settling down and having another relationship a lot of you also I feel like you have gotten out of a relationship that you've been in with for quite some time and you're trying to break free you're trying to live the life you're trying to enjoy yourself and you're trying to grab opportunities when they come in so you don't really want the restrictions of that type of a relationship anymore okay but overall I do feel a house move um, that might have happened for a lot of you and I feel like whatever house you moved into it looks really nice like I, be, I feel like big gardens I feel a lot of people and a lot of big gardens coming through okay and I feel like a, a very strong um, I feel like a very strong woman connected with your household environment a very strong determined and you know like um, solid woman okay like not not just a girl not just someone who's like wishy-washy but someone who's quite alpha um, associated with your house environment and I feel likewise it could be a male but it's some very alpha energy in your home environment okay and I do sense there might be a little bit of an ego clash between you and that person so just be very careful don't make any judgments and you know uh, give people the benefit of the doubt this month okay be very 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 diplomatic I feel like you're gonna be uh, the energy is trying you for this month but be very diplomatic okay um, in terms of your advice, we do have the Hierophant. 
The Hierophant is coming through as an advice. This is a card about conservatism, okay? So there's nothing wrong with it, uh, just depending on what context you're using it in. So this is a card about family, tradition, institution, working in a capacity where you're going to have to obey the law, you're going to have to obey rules, you're going to have to obey whatever procedure that has been there before you, even though they're inefficient, even though you feel like there are better ways to do this and there are shortcuts that you've already um, created for yourself. It's really important to follow everything to the T and to do things in a very methodical and a very, um, I guess, like predictable manner, okay? So this is not the month for you to branch off and be and play the wild card. I feel like you have a lot of energy. You have a, a huge, huge sense of individualism and wanting to explore, wanting to like rock the boat a little bit. And I don't I don't usually get this for Libras. Libras are very like balanced people. So I don't know what's going on with you guys. Um, you might be in the presence of someone who's very alpha and they are exuding a huge influence on you where they want you to break the rules a little bit or bend the rules and be a little bit more adventurous. So I feel like this energy is permeating your emotional state and also your uh, work environment. So be very, very conservative when it comes to work and follow procedures, follow things to, to a T. By the end of the month, like towards the very last week of the month, if it's absolutely not working for you, then you can, you know, have a discussion about it. But I feel like try it, implement it, and just, you know, go with the flow. Do what everyone else does and just um, rough it out until the end of the month. Then if it's not working, you can go back and revise. But at least push through that Mercury in retrograde. It's going to end on the 22nd. And then you can, you know, go back and revise things to make them better, to make them more efficient, okay? So one of the things that's going to be frustrating for you this month is dealing with bureaucracy, dealing with big institutions. So this can be government institutions. This can be, you know, school institutions. But the, the way that they're doing things is very slow very methodical, very detail-oriented, and I feel like they're missing the big picture. So that's going to be a frustrating thing for you to work um, within, okay? So there are some limits, restrictions coming through, and I feel that for a lot of you, it might just be simply financial restrictions, okay? Um, a lot for others of you, it might just be like dealing with people who are very, very different from you and they do things a different way and they're really fixed and rigid in their way so they're not going to change so you might butt heads a little bit. And speaking of butting heads, we do have the conflict card coming through here. This is a card about valor, about self-defense and about standing up for the things that you believe in. And one of the things I would say here is, you know, the, the messages seem very conflicting, right? So you have here order and tradition and you have here defending your beliefs right and in the middle we have the seven of pentacles which is a card about assessment okay so what it's telling you here is you know honestly you're you're coming into opposition with another person and i feel like it might be a, a, a fire sign a um, sagittarius aries and leo and this person is really strong in themselves i feel like they know what they know and they're going to defend it and you're going to be put in a position where you are going to have to defend yourself as well so you can't just be you know um sitting on the fence you are going to have to prove like this is what i believe and here's the empirical evidence as to why i believe what i believe in and i feel like you're going to get a lot of um I don't feel like it's criticism, but I feel like you're going to get a lot of follow-up questions. No matter what you say, people are going to ask you a lot of follow-up questions, and I feel like that's going to frustrate you because, you know, um, when you when when other people express like a, a different point of view or dissent to whatever your your view is, you always are very diplomatic, and you try to tell ask them, like, to understand where they're coming from. I feel like this new crowd that you're dealing with, especially for this month, they're a little bit more argumentative and they're trying to like to get you to convince them and you know like and you feel that information exchange is not about convincing one side or the other it's more about um, laying things on the line factually and then whoever wants to believe whatever it is that they want to believe they can pick and choose what they want to believe based on the evidence that is all laid out but you're dealing with somebody who's a little bit more aggressive and I feel like that's what's really going to be like uh, getting under your skin just a little bit for this month you feel like everything is a little, a little bit of a battle and you just want to you know enjoy life so I feel like that's what's coming in so they're telling you 
assess the situation, pick your battles, okay? And honestly, if someone is giving constantly giving you that uh, sense of like defensiveness or defensive energy whenever you're dealing with them, it's really important to know that um, it's because you know they 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 are it's they're like that because you are bringing about you're challenging the established norms you're challenging their way of life and they feel very very threatened so be very delicate in how you handle situations and how you handle like volatile defensive people just be very very careful because what i feel is like it's telling you to uh, assess okay assess where the other person is coming from and then catering the communication in a way where you know you establish like causal chain of events so that you can tell them, you know, here's what it is in the past, here's what it is now, and here's what it's going to be like in the future. So if you do it in a very methodical, in a very structured way, you're going to win over some allies, and you're going to be able to get them to see your point of view and to see things from your end. Because I feel like you're challenging somebody's uh, status quo, and um, I, I feel like they're they're not they're doing it unintentionally, like they're not even aware of it. But what you're saying might be a little bit more progressive, might be a little bit more... Un I don't feel you're the unconventional types. Uh, Aquarius are not Libras. I feel that what you're saying is a lot more factual, is a lot more progressive. And this is based on, you know, newest findings, newest developments. So you know what you're talking about. And as a result, somebody who's really, like, fixed in their opinions... Uh, they might have outdated opinions, honestly. They might have, like, um, I want to say, like, they're, they're just really, really conservative. And you're going to encounter this energy, okay? So, um, Libras, I hope, I feel like you're, you're going to be okay. But it's going to feel a little bit frustrating, all right? Having to, like, explain yourself all the time. I feel like that's what's happening for this month. And it's going to feel a little bit frustrating. So let me go into your love relationship reading and see what's going on for you guys. Um, I'm using a different spread. This is the, the one that I just created and I started with um, Pisces. So let me just see what's going on for you guys for love and relationships for September 2016. You show me love and relationships for Libra for September 2016. Show me love and relationships for Libra, September 2016. What is the overall energy? Challenge. one more okay what is the advice okay so I'm going to go over the spread and I'm going to explain how it works, okay? Um, this is just a trial run just to see how things go and then we'll go from there. So first of all, the overall energy here is the Seven of Cups. This is a very similar energy to what I felt last month when I mentioned that in the past you've had a lot of options laid out uh, in front of you. And I feel like this is the month in which, you know, these options are dwindling down. So you are narrowing your, your options when it comes to the love relationship front. You are also, um, I feel that... What whatever fantasies um, you've had, or even like, you know, sense of um, idealism that you've had regarding love, commitment, relationships, how long things are supposed to last, whether or not marriage is supposed to last, all of these things are coming up for re-examination for this month, okay? In the challenge position, we have here the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is overcoming uh, sadness, regrets, or dealing with sadness and regrets uh, from a previous situation that did not work out too well, okay? A lot of you might be uh, dealing with a water sign. 
at this present moment and there is some difficulties in getting the relationship going in a smooth harmonious manner the seven of cups and the five of cups this water heavy heavy water energy I feel that you might be dealing with a water sign that is not in accordance with your own path one person might want a family and the other person might not want the same things so there's de definitely some differences in values and in like you know the direction of the relationship you love like I feel like you care about one another you might love one another but there are some mitigating factors that's making it really difficult to form a relationship and to form form a harmonious union together as a unit okay so these cards like mirror one another so we're going to go from the ends into the middle so the first thing here is we do have the nine of swords and the nine of swords usually indicates a situation where somebody might be dealing with a lot of stress a lot of strain a lot of um, a lot of things that are creeping up in their environment that's causing worries and concerns okay and um, I feel like for some of you it might come through the work environment so you or your partner could be dealing with some type of stress strain regarding their um, work environment regarding their um, public image and it's also being brought in to affect the current relationship that you're in we do have here the Eight of Cups as well as the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a situation where some information is being revealed, okay? It's the whole unveil unveiling process where you're able to see a situation very clearly exactly for exactly what it is, and you're going to have to decide what you need to do. With the Eight of Cups in the reverse position, it signifies to me going back to a previous situation because some information came to light and you're going to have to go back in order to fix it, or in order to communicate, or in order to re-engage with the other person. So I feel like for some of you, if you have recently walked away from a water sign, a water sign has recently walked away from you, there's some information coming back to light here and you might be tempted to take a step back and I feel like the information that comes comes in if it's a if it's giving you additional insight so that you can go back and fix a situation is definitely worth it it's definitely worth doing and i feel like it's going to be in your best interest to try to do that what's coming in next here is the 4 of wands as well as the tower so both of these cards indicate to me there might have been a major, major breakdown in a relationship in the past, okay? The tower's in the reverse position, so I feel like this is something that's already done and over with. And with the four of wands, it indicates like, you know, uh, having somebody in our lives that are not um, looking for marriage, not looking for stability. And it's really hard to work together with a, this person and come into a un, like a mutual understanding that, you know, you want the same things from life. You want stability and you want um, uh, commitment so I feel like this is the month I feel like this is the energy that you're bringing to the table as well and, and if you are dealing with someone especially I see a lot of uh, water energy um, I feel water and fire actually so I feel like the fun and excitement trumps everything else so I feel that this is the month in which you are realizing I have to leave this relationship behind I'm going to new things okay so I see a heavy energy here shifting from water into fire so water signs of um, Pisces Cancer Scorpio and then we have like fire signs which is more like the um, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So that's the energy I feel coming through for you. Whatever situation that you've left in the past, I feel that there's still a lot of emotions tied up with it. And I feel that you might opt to become friends rather than just, you know, cutting them off completely. You might opt to become friends. And I feel like if that's something that was implemented recently, um, just be very clear with the new relationship partner if they're coming through, okay? For others of you who are in committed relationships, and I feel like if you are in a uh, very, very long-standing uh, type of marriage love affair that has been a little bit rocky, and especially if you or your partner travel a lot, and if your partner travel a lot, if you know that you're faithful, and if your partner is traveling a lot, I feel like there's temptation here and there might be some information coming to light regarding some type of an indiscretion and I feel like you might have, if it already happened, you ha are moving on to a new relationship. You've left that situation behind. You didn't forgive. And I feel like 
there might be, you know, you, you might get more communication from that person, but I feel like it re involves somebody traveling a lot and having indiscretions like affairs and things like that coming through, okay? In terms of your advice, here's what I'm feeling. We do have the three of cups in the reverse position. This is a three people type of an involvement where, you know, like, um, you might be, you might have a lot of options. You might have narrowed down your options and now you're down to like two people and you're trying to, to, trying to choose between them. One of them might still be a, uh, water sign, an aquarium, uh, I'm sorry, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The other person might just be an air sign, okay? So this is uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So you've got some, some pretty hefty options that are made available to you. And in terms of your advice when it comes to love and relationships, they're basically telling you go with the solid, go with the, the, the pragmatic choice, and go with the choice that's giving you that uh, sense of independence, okay? Go with someone who's already very, very independent. They're not needy, and they're going to give you the proper space and they're also the healthier re relationship partner. So I feel like in the past, you might have dealt with people that, you know, they, they needed a lot of saving. It seemed like they had broken wings. They came from troublesome family situation, broken homes. They might have gotten out of relationships too, like um, a significant relationship, like a marriage situation, failed engagement and all of these things. And they're a little bit like broken. And I feel like when you dealt with them, um, you you felt something was off you felt almost like why are they like this why are they so commitment phobic why are they so like nonchalant about you know um, wanting to build something together and why are they always blowing hot and cold and I feel like some information co is coming to light for this month which is going to give you a lot of access to the other person's psyche to understand where they're coming from and to understand like why they are like the, the way they are and a lot of it has to do with you know childhood conditioning broken homes types of situation and I feel like there's something here about someone feeling jaded you know someone feeling like oh I don't really believe in love anymore um, I know that it's, it's uh, it exists but I don't feel that it's for me so I want to play the field so it can come in from your energy that you're bringing to the table or from other people that you're dealing with but I feel that overall sense of like you know um, feeling a little bit jaded feeling a little bit disenchanted when it comes to love and relationships and trying to establish a family with another person you're also dealing with discordant inform um, energies regarding you know dealing with like a water sign from the past and it was a very very heavy emotional experience and right now you're just like I want to I want freedom I want to move about and uh, I don't want you know someone to rely so much on me so you're seeking somebody who is a lot more independent who's a lot more self-possessed firm in their beliefs and their convictions okay so I do feel it is going to be a very good month when it comes to singles who are out there dating. You at least know what you want and you're not looking for heavy emotional entanglements. And you're not looking for people who are broken or who needs a lot of saving, okay? So you are devoting your time more to like people who are a little bit more grounded, mature, emotionally, mentally, and just... Um, they're, they're just strong. You want like the strong partner. You want somebody to be your equal because I feel like you know what you want and you've been through that tough relationship in the past and you have a lot of information about where you need to go and where you need to be and as a result of it, you're seeking somebody like-minded. Um, what I'm also feeling when I mentioned that you're dealing with a lot of people, I feel like, I don't feel the temptation is coming from, for, from your end. I don't sense that. I don't feel that you're the one uh, fluctuating here because I know I feel like you know what you want so I feel like you're very very directed and very um, you know like solid as to what you want so I mentioned that there are a lot of options being made available to you okay and um, you might have finalized some plans you know like you might have uh, chosen some people you might have two people four options or something like that and I feel that you do want to socialize. You do want to have fun. You want to enjoy yourself. So I feel like the other people might be pushing you for a commitment, especially if you're dealing with um, a water sign. 
a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I feel like they might want to push you for a commitment, but I feel they're not emotionally ready, okay? They might want the security. They're just not ready. I don't feel that they're ready. I feel like they have a lot of issues that they're trying to work out in their own lives. So this is a card here that uh, signifies that to me. It seems like it's somebody who's had like a few failed relationships and they, they have trouble with um, getting themselves back on their own two feet and being alone. They, they, they have trouble doing that. And I feel like you're very happy, you're very content being alone and you're, you're very strong in your foundation. So you don't really want that heavy emotional burden where you have to, you know, play therapist to another person. So you're dealing with someone who's like that, who's like kind of melancholic and kind of somber, and um, they don't know how to help themselves. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like this, if this is something you're dealing with, I feel like towards the end of the month, you're going to have to cut some ties, and you're going to have to go for the more uh, energetically fun, energetically um, vibrant type of a relationship partner, okay? So it's really important to know what you want. And I feel like whatever happened in August, you are now really sure about what you want. And, you know, like um, they say that traditionally Libras are very indecisive. I feel like when it comes to um, you're indecisive when you have to choose between two things that or two or multiple things that you want. But when it comes to knowing what you want, you always know what you want. Air signs always know on a deep rooted intellectual or even emotional level. Air signs know. But I do sense that um, this is some things are happening for this month. That's going to really solidify, you know, your belief system. And I feel like you're dealing with people that are have boundary issues, and it's going to have to. It's forcing you to draw your line in the sand. You're also dealing with some really fun people, and it's going to bring about new opportunities in your life. So as a result, you might not want to be tied down. Okay. I feel for those of you in coupled relationships, partners might have some uh, troubles on the work front. They need your emotional support. They're going to need your emotional support, okay? And um, be very patient with them. Humor them. I feel like um, taking them to a place where, you know, they can enjoy themselves and have a little bit of laughter and um, fun. I feel that's going to be good for them, okay? So I do wish you all the best, uh, Libras. Enjoy your time celebrating your birthday. And uh, take care of yourself. I'll be back in the mid-month reading. If you like, I did a um, donation link in the description box. If you choose to use the link, I would really appreciate that. I'll be back for the mid-month reading. Bye-bye.